Alright, so to, for the next step of our English meal, we're going to be cooking shepherd's pie. To start, you need to um, cook some lean ground beef, you know, to make it healthy. You're just going to heat up a pan and put it in there until it's cooked. Alright, when your meat's pretty much cooked, um, you're going to want to dump a package of the onion soup mix in there and just stir it up. until it's all dissolved. Next, you're going to pour the can of baked beans that you got into the meat that you've been cooking. And then you're just going to stir it up. Don't worry about it being too runny because That'll help it stick together in the pan when you finally get to the cooking stage. Alright, so once you've cooked the meat and the baked beans together, you're going to want to pour it into a deep dish and spread it out so it's nice and even and flat. To make the top layer of your shepherd's pie, you're going to take some pre-cooked diced potatoes and just mash them up until they're creamy. And then this is what is going to go on top of your meat when the dish is put into the oven. And cream. Make sure as you're mashing them, you're going to want to add butter and cream. I'm sure you guys can do that by yourself and I'm going to show you how to add butter and cream. So after that, you're going to want to put your uh, mashed potato layer on top. Make sure it's spread out pretty evenly because you don't want more potato than your meat. And when you have the whole pan covered, we're going to skip to the grated cheese that goes on top. Then for the final step of making your shepherd's pie, you want to take a cup of loosely shredded cheese and just sprinkle it evenly over top. This is going to make the top of your pie nice and crispy when it's put into the oven. Like so. Alright, so you're going to put your pot of shepherd's pie into the oven, which is preheated to 350 degrees. You're going to want to wait until the cheese is bubbled, and that's when you know that your dish is finished. Right, so our shepherd's pie is done. As you can see, it's nice and crispy on top. This is what it should look like when you're finished. So now I'm just going to taste our tasty dish that we have just made. You're gonna have to be careful because when you first pull it out, it's gonna be really hot. <laughs>